Okay, if we're gonna be talking Halloween, it's the perfect opportunity for me to unbox this boy. Look at the size of this stabbing, stabbing Michael Myers. I gotta say, horror Funko Pops are my favorite of the Funko Pops. And while I still think Chucky has the most and the best horror Funko Pops, this could be the year that Michael beats him because I can only just get this big bad boy. Did you know they also made a Funko Pop of him with his damn house? Like, what? That is awesome. But because Halloween is all about treats, I do have a second one here I'm willing to give away because this is just too awesome not to share with somebody out there. So if you want to be entered to win this Michael Myers with his house, just make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below a theory for the new movie. All right, but with that now out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some Halloween ends here because they are currently filming the movie right now as we speak. And it's prompted to already get us a bunch of behind the scene photos and looks at the movie. So much so that Jason Blum himself, the head of Blumhouse Studios, decided to give us our first official shot of Halloween Ends with the new trio we'll be following, and I think there's some nice little clues to pick out here. So I'm gonna be breaking down that photo along with all these other details involved with Halloween Ends, but I'm gonna need you Halloween fans to give me your opinions down below with everything we discuss here today. I know there's some Halloween fans out there that left with a bit of a sour taste in their mouths after Halloween Kills. If you are one of those people, let me know if you're still excited for Halloween Ends, or if you're someone who's just kind of given up hope. I still think they're rocking it with this franchise. All right, so yes, catching up a little bit with Halloween Ends, because I still get comments with people confused. Originally, it was announced that they would be filming Halloween Ends and Halloween Kills back to back. That was the plan that they were attempting to do last year, but then the pandemic hit. And then because of that and all these protocols and whatnot, they decided not to film Halloween Ends at that time, which part of me makes me think that Halloween Ends was going to take place the exact same night of the last movie. It just feels like that's where they were headed and with that title Halloween Ends, because Halloween Day would finally end. But we've already officially learned now that the movie will be taking a four year time jump, because remember Halloween technically took place on the night of 2018, and now it'll be set in present day of 2022, where we'll see Michael Myers come after the survivors in what is said to be the final movie in the Halloween franchise, but We've heard that several times before. Now I'll show you some of the unofficial set photos that we've gotten from people who've just been around the set, but as far as the official set photo goes that Jason Blum revealed himself, we see here what we are assuming to be the new main characters for this movie because it's kind of all we have left after Halloween Kills. Lori, her granddaughter Allison, and Lindsay Wallace. Now you would think this average little photo, there's not much to go on, but there's actually a lot of little clues to go on here. For one, the location they're set in, a bar. I don't think this happens to be the exact same bar that that we saw in Halloween Kills, but it's still something important in the Halloween franchise because we learned in Halloween Kills that a lot of the survivors who encountered Michael Myers would make it a yearly tradition that on Halloween, they would go to the bar, have drinks with each other, and just kind of catch up with themselves and kind of do a little group therapy of everything they've gone through with Michael. And it seems like the tradition will be carried on here with Lori and the remaining survivors of Halloween Ends. Who knows if other members are here as well. So that's really cool that they're keeping up that tradition. In the background, we can also see a pumpkin that's because shocker Halloween ends will most likely be set around Halloween now I am going to be curious to see how they explain it this time around that Michael Myers is just going to re-pop up around Halloween the last movie they had a good excuse it happened to be the exact same night of Halloween where Michael Myers escaped but now it's been four years why did Michael decide to pop up again around this time or maybe it's not him that's popping up and it's this group that is going to be going after him that's really the biggest thing I think is going to be happening with this movie and I feel would make a lot of sense around this season. Lori and Allison are just so pressured thinking about the trauma that Michael's left on their family. They can't take it anymore. And so that same night of Halloween, they go and end Halloween. Other things that kind of catch my attention of this photo here, let's look at Allison and her attire. She seems to be wearing all black and if you zoom in on her fingernails that are kind of being covered up by Lori they're painted black now I know this might be a bit of a stretch but Hollywood does do this with their characters because they like their physical appearance to match what their inner appearance is feeling and with Allison kind of getting it the worst having her father dead her mom dead and also the boyfriend dead in a very brutal way in that last movie it's safe to say that Allison is cuckoo in the head and traumatized from everything she went to and this 
just might be her new coping mechanism that we'll see from Allison. It kind of even reminds me a little bit of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 where we saw a major change of that Lori where she kind of went the punk rock way after meeting Michael Myers. But now focusing a little bit on Lori here, I do not see enough people talking about this. The woman is wearing a wedding ring or an engagement ring. Now this could mean one of two things. I went ahead and went back to look at old photos and footage of Karen, the daughter that we assume now is most likely dead since she's not in this photo unless it's some big surprise for Halloween ends. I'm kind of still holding out hope that Karen is alive somehow, but in case her character is dead and long gone, this kind of looks like the same wedding ring that Karen was wearing in those movies. I don't know, they're both really blurry shots of it, so this could be Lori wearing the wedding ring of Karen as remembrance of her daughter, but I also feel like it doesn't really look like the exact wedding ring, and this could just be that Lori in the four years since we last saw her got married, and to who else? than Officer Hawkins. That's something that was brought up in Halloween Kills and was kind of added into the lore of Halloween that in these flashbacks that we're probably gonna get again in Halloween Ends. In the hospital sequence, we had Laurie and Officer Hawkins kind of have a moment with each other. It's something we had never seen in the original Halloween movie, so it's most likely a situation that they're hinting towards and setting up so that we could see that in Halloween Ends. But also, I think this is kind of perfect for Laurie. One thing I hated about her character in the 2018 version is that she was this loner after one one encounter with Michael and now all these years later after another encounter and being proven that she really wasn't crazy for wanting to prepare for Michael coming back someday she might be better put together than we expect even though she just lost her daughter so I think it's kind of nice to see that she could be married with Officer Hawkins living in a house together with Allison and all three of them having known what Michael is capable of are willing and ready to fight back with him now with that said the only other intriguing set photo we have gotten from Halloween end seems to be of this supermarket location called Hometown Proud. Honestly, I feel like this could also just be a Goodwill, but I've seen a lot of Halloween fans online call it a grocery store, so maybe it could be that for Haddonfield. And a photo taken right outside of it, we see Lori as she's currently being filmed it, and then right in front of her, there's a police car. Now that could belong to Officer Hawkins, and they're just doing some daily shopping, but I feel like this might be one of the first sequences where Michael re-pops up and is doing some attacking on Halloween day, and how awesome is it to think about Michael Myers entering a grocery store filled with people and him just like all right let me go to work let me kill you with this corn let me smash you with these can of beans i'm michael myers now we've already learned that the working title for halloween ends is cave dwellers for halloween kills the working title was called mob rules and after having seen the movie we all know why it's because a mob eventually forms to try and fight michael myers and i already gave you guys my theory that i thought cave dwellers could have been a metaphor for Lori and the survivors going into tunnels sneaking into the asylum because i think maybe michael got arrested again after the end of halloween kills and this time they want to go meet him and finish him off but i also want to bring up some of the most popular theories you guys had about the working title where we had adolf here say i think cave dweller means that michael is still out there and that the people of the town are going to be consistently living in fear and hiding in their homes scared to come out because of the danger of michael kind of paralleling people not wanting to leave their homes in fear of the pandemic since they mentioned they would be addressing it somehow that's actually a really great theory and i feel kind of better than mine's what if they just never caught Michael Myers and the boy just disappeared. The last we saw, he was staring out his sister's window because that's just a fetish for him. But Michael's also pretty smart. Out that window, he can clearly see that there's going to be a lot of cop cars. He'll get the heck out of there. So it would be interesting if Michael is never caught. He's like this enigma is missing and all these people are just so afraid to leave their homes or just be locked up in their homes because they know Michael could just come in the way he does, turning them into cave dwellers. I love that idea. Honestly, I'm just super excited to see Halloween ends. I know this movie won't be as carnage filled as Halloween Kills because that's something that they mentioned they really want to focus on the story this time around and I think that is the way to go but you know this film is still going to be crazy and wild so I throw it off to you guys what do you think of these set photos what can you make out from them any theories or thoughts you might have I would love to hear them down below don't forget to like subscribe follow me on twitter at 3c films or on tiktok at 3c films but as always I'm Chris Halloween on suckers